was so entangled with intelligent technology that I really wanted to tackle this subject in, in my music and I wanted to explore the relationship between classical music and advanced technology. In 2018, um, Simon Webb, a director of BBC Philharmonic, and myself put together a proposal for a PhD involving AI and BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Robert Laidlow spent the last three years working with artificial intelligence and creating orchestral composition. This project is all about how you can use it in the creative process, push your work in, in new directions and think of new artistic ideas or discover new types of sounds or, or new ways of organising sounds. I've always been really interested in collaborating with with scientists, so maybe my work would, would feed back into their work and it would sort of help the models that they're building. And in return, I could get access to some of this amazing technology. It's very exciting to be working on the edge of technology. Innovation in art often comes from a mistake or something that you didn't intend to do. So you take that um, as the basis for something new. Silicon is in three movements and, and each of them uses AI in quite a different way. The first movement uses an AI that generates sheet music, They're trying to send it into sort of a weird, bizarro direction. In the second movement, I was interested in deep fake music, I suppose. And I wanted there to be an AI instrument that was kind of creepily hanging out at the back, playing like this sort of skeletal structure of the music. And then on top of that is, is the orchestra wearing all these different genres as if it's putting on different masks. The third movement uses an algorithm which generates like raw audio. We trained it on all these broadcasts. So yes, it produces some you know, wonderful orchestral sound, but also because it's broadcast, it also learned how the presenters introduce the pieces. and it learnt uh, how the audience responds at the end. And then just sort of morphing into a core, it's almost like it's clapping itself. I sort of found that wonderfully inspiring. I have no interest in just showing off technology for the sake of it. Anything that pushes us to think in a different way is, is really genuinely valuable. Um, and I think that is probably what a lot of these players might take long term from such a project. They might not walk away thinking, I love AI. <laughs> they might not walk away thinking, I like Rob's music. I'm sure many of them don't. Um, but they might you know, have this experience that kind of forces them to engage with music that's written in a different way.